Hello, Mr. Nilan here. Welcome to Wrath of the Norseman the Baltic version 3.5. I am now using the vanilla music here too because I don't want the video to be blocked. I just changed it. It used the uh, custom music a second ago. I started up the game and it used the custom music. I had to move files to a different folder and add the vanilla music back. Okay, so this is Wrath of the Norseman the Baltic, the original mod version 3.5 it released on March 16th 2022 latest version so the factions united submod that I previewed previously is a submod of this version of the mod and of a submod named Frankum Regnum Francorum uh, and uh, unlike the submod this is the main mod there are some differences and go immediately to a multiplayer hot seat Take a look at the factions. So this mod has one more faction. <laughs> Place this on no battle time limit. Manage all cities. Difficult on campaign map. Medium difficulty and battle difficulty medium. <laughs> so we have Prussia, and in this mod, unlike in the Regnum Francorum, unlike in the yeah Regnum Francorum sub mod from 2018, I believe that there are fewer historical characters spawning. There are um, I believe fewer events and uh, <coughs> the unused characters and uh, agents and such are still in the files they haven't been deleted from the files and uh, this mod doesn't have the new building tree of the Regnum Francorum sub mod this is the older mod that uh, they based that Appain based that sub mod on and then the Factions United sub mod <coughs> allowed you to start with all their territories and such and added Lagerta as a hero for Sweet Jude. In this game you don't have Lagerta in the game and uh, they do not start with all their territories. They only have this small area seen on the mini map here. The rest will be rebel areas. Each faction starts with one or two uh, settlements at the start of the campaign and the rest is rebel held so we have the maximum number of regions here too 199 in, in a medieval 2 total war mod uh, and most of it will be rebel held meaning all those garrisons of the rebel areas will be controlled by the rebels or independent factions so we have Prussia as a playable faction they hold only this small area we have Mora Filki they hold this little area see on the map what they hold here we have Franks they were renamed East Frankish Empire in in the Regnum Francorum sub mod and still named that in the Factions United sub mod but in this main mod they are named the Franks so Francia or the Franks they are a French state uh, led by originally by Charlemagne the Great and he conquered they conquered areas of Eastern Rome in Gaul and then they fought the Islamists in Spain and they fought the barbarians, the German barbarians in the forests of uh, Germania. They conquered uh, the German areas and then the empire was divided in East and East and the Eastern part is French and the eastern part is German and I believe in this game we are playing as the German part of the Frankish Empire. They are named as the Franks here. While um, I believe the German mother Appain changed the name to East Frankish Empire in the Regnum Francorum submod that he made in February 2018 based on my release the same month. Okay, and uh, the United uh, Factions United submod is based on that version. Okay, so here we are playing as the Franks, they are the same faction, we have the Cursi, Peronians, we have the Rigaland, the Norse, we have Gautland, the Geats, Götar, we start with only this area, we have Westfall, they have only this small little area, another Norse Viking faction, we have Quenland, the Finns here, we have access to Sami mercenaries, we have Godarike Ras or Gaderike Ras, the Russians, uh, the mix between Norse and Slavs. This area they hold only this smaller region. 
Pelogaland, the fourth and final Norse faction, Norwegian Norse faction. We start with this area. Unlike in the summon where they had more areas. Okay, and then we have Hame, the second Finnish faction. They start with only their uh, capital and maybe one other area down here. Vanadja, their capital. Okay, so most of uh, Finland is rebel held in this version. We have uh, Gutland, they have the same area as in the sub mode. They hold Gutland and its capital Visbjör, or Visby in Swedish. We have Denmark, Denmark, who hold only a few areas here, far from all of their country. Then we have Svitjord, they hold only their two areas or three in mainland Svitjord there. Area where Stockholm later is built. Okay. And we have the Ubertrites, they hold one area instead of three. We have the Vendland uh, Eastern Slavic faction, hold a few areas there. In this version, they have cavalry bodyguards, by the way, horse bodyguard. And we have the Franks again, I believe the Pope is in this version, he was removed in the Ring of Francorum submod, and the Such is removed in the Factions United version as well. In this version, the Pope is present and can call crusades. Okay, and then we have Krivici, the Eastern Slavic Union, they hold only this smaller part. And in this version all the Slavic nations have horse bodyguard, uh, cavalry as a bodyguard instead of, like in sub mode where I replaced the uh, horse bodyguard with a dismounted bodyguard. Okay, let's start the game. A day later. 15th. 2022 and March 7th, the video of the other one first because uh, it was more interesting, I think. More new. So you get to start with every area and such. In this version, you can see that we have only two areas as the Prussians. Here is a rebel area. Garrison of four units. We have Medenia village, it's their capital. So they only control one area. In the other mod I believe they control 11 areas or 12 or 13. But I believe it was 11 or 10 even. But here it's just one, so they are much weaker at the start. Otherwise uh, they start with a village, they have about the same buildings, same garrison in their capital. All the other garrisons are in the other areas, but they are now rebel uh, controlled. Okay, and in this game, all 50 regions in order to win, they need to eliminate faction Kursi, Coronians, the other Baltic faction, that's their main enemy. They have no allies, they are towards the Franks, the Kursi, Jutland, and, and the Franks, okay, and the independent faction rebels. Okay, the next faction is uh, Moira Filke, the first Norwegian Norse faction, they have two areas in this main mod. And uh, need to defeat the other three Norse Norwegian factions, Rigelandi, Westfold, and Helogeland, in order to win. So, in the sub mode, they had five regions, here they have two. Okay. And then we have um, Franks, they have three areas in this version. In the other mode, they have seven at the start, I believe. As we can see, the other faction is just a guy, Frankish Emperor. He's the Pope, I believe. No, he's an Emperor, actually. So they start with a large army inside of their capital, which is still a town. They have, four, uh, two, they have three areas instead of seven. The areas have different names compared to in the sub mod. It was based on the sub mod by Appen, and he changed the names to be more German. Okay. Then we have the faction of the Cursed, the Coronians. They have one area to start here, their capital, Europolis, Europolis. And in the other version, I believe that they had 13 regions, so it's a big difference here. Okay, so the difference in this version is mainly that you start with one to two areas, maybe three, and the rest is rebel areas that you need to conquer presenting independent tribes. The Balts are very weaker. Here we have the Rigalandi 
Norwegian Norse faction, they have two areas instead of five at the start. Same units in the garrison in the capital. Similar units in the other city that they hold. The rest of their area is rebel held. Okay. And we have Gotland, Geats. They have three areas at the start instead of eleven. Similar troops inside of their yep. cities. This time they lack most of their areas. And in this mod, as I said, Lagerta hasn't been added to Sweetjord and uh, uh, compared to the other mod, I believe that uh, <coughs> the diplomacy was changed and the victory conditions. So there are slight differences in the vi victory conditions and in the diplomacy here. Gautland needs to defeat Denmark and Sweetjord to win. Okay, they still have the new strat models like this Spy, the Berserker, Assassin and Heretic and uh, the new Generals and Captains. So they are the same. The only difference was that Legurta didn't get added here. Uh, and they have a new AI on the campaign map. So a better AI compared to all the versions of the main mod. Same AI as in the sub mod. Much more aggressive AI on the map. Uh, much more aggressive AI. They have the same new strat models, excluding Legerta. In this mod, most factions start with one to three regions. The rest are rebel held. And um, in this version, I believe that the leadsmen have been fixed. So they are no longer bugged in battle, just like in the sub mod. And the diplomacy has been changed a bit to be more historically correct, and the victory conditions have been changed. So they are more uh, historically correct. We have Westfall here, they hold a few areas. We have three areas at the start. And uh, yes. the rest of their areas are rebel held. They had 16 areas in the other version, so they have lost 13 areas to the rebels. We have the same strat models, same queen model. So the princess models are queens in Wrath of the Norsemen. Uh, called Drottning or Drottningar, which means queen or queens. Okay, we have um, <coughs> the Finnish faction that can recruit Sami mercenaries. We have the same capital of Kalis, but it was named Kalix in the other version. We have one settlement from the beginning. In the other version they have 10, I believe. Okay, then we have Gordarik Ras. They have one area to start instead of um, 10 or 7 or something. Then we have Logaland. They have four regions at start. Another Norwegian North Fact in the final one. They have four regions here. They had um, 14, I believe, in the sub -mode. They lost 10 to the rebels. And then we have <coughs> the Hammer faction, the second Finnish faction, mainland Finland. The access to Finnish mercenaries too. They have one area at the start, their capital Vanaja. They've lost um, about nine regions to the rebels. Then we have Utland. They have the same areas in the sub mod, Vispir. So they are at as strong as in the sub mod, meaning they are way stronger here because everyone else is weaker. Well, Gutland is as strong as in the other version. They still start with only their capital. They have the same garrison at the start, the same village, the same fleet. They are unchanged, pretty much. Okay, Denmark. Denmark. The same capital, they hold eight regions. They are still the strongest faction in the game. All eight regions at the start instead of 19, so they lost 11 regions to the rebels. That's Denmark. And we have Svikjord, the Swedish faction. They hold three regions at the start. Svikjord, the capital. They hold uh, uh, Uppsala. Or Gamla Uppsala, old Uppsala. Uh, and Burk or Birka in Swedish. Another old Viking town. So they have 3 areas instead of 16. So they have lost uh, 13 areas to the rebels. They also do not have Legurta as I said. They still have Ragnar Lothbrok as their leader. The 
same garrisons in these areas. Then we have the Ubertrite. They have two areas at the start instead of three. I was wrong. I thought they had only one. But they have two areas instead of three. So they are, are almost as strong as in the other version. But they have a b way better position here because everyone else is much weaker. So it won't be as difficult playing as them in this campaign. Also all the Slavic factions, the Ubertrite, the Vendland faction, the Krivici, Eastern Slavic Union and the Garderica Ras faction, the Rasrans, they have uh, mounted bodyguards here instead of dismounted bodyguards. Yeah. Then we have Vendland, the Eastern Slavs, they are the, the faction that is supposed to predate Poland uh, and they start with um, three areas here, they had about ten areas in the other version, so we lost six areas to the rebels, or seven. Pope is dead. Ah, so the Pope is already dead. So we have the Pope here, by the way. He's removed in the sub mod in both Random Francorum and in Factions United. We can uh, ask him to call a crusade. We can do that as the Franks. But usually it's uh, rejected, unfortunately. But the Pope can call crusades in this version against uh, different areas like Sieg Tunir, the capital of uh, Svitjord, Swedish faction, Ranebor, uh, Vendland, the East Slavic faction, Polok, the capital of Krivici, Eastern Slavic Union, Radegost, another Eastern Slavic faction, or maybe it's a Obodrite faction, I don't know. The Danaya, the capital of the Prussian Belts, your place, the capital of the, uh, I believe that's the Coronian capital, Kursibalts, Holmgarder, or, or Holmgård in Swedish, capital of the Russians, the Gardergras, Stargard, the capital of the Obertrites, Eastern Slavs, and Demen, one of the either Obertrite or Vendland cities, and we have Folksen. One of the Norwegian Norse factions, I believe it's a Moira Filke, so you can call crusades against all of them, or at least the Pope can. Okay, the Franks, they are allied to the other Frank faction, there's only one Frankish faction that is an actual faction on the map. The other one is just the Pope, without the actual territory on the map, because mainland Francia is not on the map, you know, Paris is not on the map. The Pope would probably be in Paris or in Rome. Okay. They are at war with pretty much everyone, the Pope. Okay. And now we are in control of the Krivici Eastern Slavic Union. The capital is Polok. They have the same troops as in the other version in the capital. Red by King Radislav. They have one area at start instead of... Um, was it 12 or 11 or 13 or 10 or something? They are way weaker here. Most factions are way weaker in this main version of the mod. Let's check the map. Togelfau. So this is how the map looks in the main mod. Most factions have one to three areas. Denmark had eight areas and maybe Helogoland had four areas. And the rest of the map is rebel held. 199 regions in total. The maximum number you can have in any medieval total war kingdoms map or mod for medieval total war kingdoms. Same limits for the main game as for the mods. Okay, so in this game you have to conquer the rebels and then after maybe um, maybe at turn 40 or something you're ready to start fighting the other factions. Usually in this mod the AI was so bad at expanding that the player would end up with a huge stretch of, of land after blitzing, the, after blitzing the rebels. Well, the AI wouldn't even have started it, their conquests, but that was with the old AI. I aim to improve that by adding a much more aggressive AI from stainless steel to this version of the mod, which I did. So now the AI should be way more aggressive than the version that was released prior to March uh, 16, 2022. And the same AI is in use in the Factions United submod. So the AI should be way more aggressive, meaning when you start expanding, you can expect the the AI controlled factions to also expand. You might not expand as much as the player, but way more than in previous versions of uh, Wrath of the Norseman Baltic. 
So this mod also has access to the same custom music as the sub mod. But uh, and if you download the mod, it will have the custom music enabled in, uh, from the start. You can get the vanilla music by downloading a specific package available on the modable site. And uh, as for the custom settlements in the game, if you attack settlements in this mod, you will fight in custom cities. Unlike on the in the sub mod, the capital is a large town in Sweetjord. I don't know if every area has that. I might have forgotten to change Sweetjord back. Yeah, most areas will be villages. I believe I playtested with Sweetjord, that's why they have a a uh, large town that's cheating. I will probably upload a fix there or, or an, uh, I will update the mod where I will have the vanilla music uh, implemented at the start so you'll need to go into the sounds folder and uh, switch out the files in order to get the custom music and we'll do the same for the sub mod and then I will return this city and another city to a village. They're supposed to start with a city, uh, uh, village I mean not a city or large, uh, not a town or large town. So large town is the latest uh, level of settlement you can have in the main mod. In the sub mod they might be able to get uh, cities and uh, large cities, I don't know. Castles are deactivated because this is the Viking Age, it's before they started to build castles. Okay, just like in the antiquity there were no castles until Britain or England started to build castles to defend against Viking raids and such. Okay. So each area has custom settlements. We have a custom settlement for the villages, for the towns and for the large towns. The Franks have unique settlements from the Tibalumundi mod set in the antiquity and the Roman period. And they use the same settlements as the, I believe, uh, the, the Greeks there, no, the, or Italians. So it, it fits their faction, Roman style. Then the Norse, they have um, the same as the Barbarians, but with unique skins from East of Rome, the main release, making them look more Nordic or Slavic. They wear Slavic skins for the Slavs in the East of Rome mod. Used here for the Norse, Slavs and no Norse have similar buildings, they look about the same. Uh, but the, s the skins from East of Rome make them look more Viking than than the original ones that were used by the barbarians in the Balamunde. Also there is a difference between the mountain regions and the plainland regions. Uh, so for example Denmark, uh, Gautland, Jutland, Heatland and Sweetjord and Westfall they have uh, one version of the towns, large towns and uh, villages shared with the Slavic factions. They have the same settlements. Slavs, while the Norse, uh, such as uh, Moira Fylke and Rygalande and Helogaland, they have different villages and towns that are on mountainous terrain because their areas are mountains. So they have different settlements in battle for village and town. However, when they reach large town, they will have the same as the others because there were no unique one for the large town. Then the Sam and the Finns have completely different uh, settlements shared with the Alba or Scotland faction in uh, Last Kingdom, right of the Norsemen. So they look like Scottish uh, settlements, but the Sami uh, homes from this period were very similar to the, the Scottish ones. So they have pretty much the Scottish architecture in battle. We have unique ones for the Finns and Sami, and unique ones for the Franks, and then we have the same for the Slavs and most of the Norse, and the Balts, I believe, share, with, uh, share the same too as them, and then the, the Norwegian Norse up in the mountains have different villages and towns compared to the other Slavs and other Norse. Okay, now we are in control of um, Prussia. I don't want to control Prussia will jump straight into one of the Viking factions. Actually we could probably preview the Franks a bit. But maybe not. So we have an army here. So this is the main mod where they wanted most areas of the of the game to be rebel held to represent unconquered tribes 
and uh, you're supposed to form the, the 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 entire tribes by conquering the rebels. But the problem is that the AI never conquers the right settlements, so they will never end up with the exact settlements that they had historically. That's why I prefer to use the to have everything from the start. So they have the correct ones at the start, and also these like fighting rebels all the time. I, th I don't think the rebels do a good job at uh, fighting the player and. Uh, will face more of a challenge when all the areas are controlled by an actual faction. Even if the AI has been improved here, I sti still think it would be more fun to play the Factions United sub mod. But I didn't want to add those changes to the main mod because um, this mod was developed by a team of modders over at Total War Center between 2007 and 2011. I believe Medieval Total War released in 2006 for the computer. And then the expansion kingdoms released in 2007, and that's when the mod started, right of the Norsemen and Baltic. And it finished the 1.5 uh, alpha in, in, in uh, 2011, 2011. And I continued the mod in 2016, and uh, then the submod Regnum Francorum released in February 2018, based on my then latest release of the same month, 2018. and. Uh, and then uh, I believe that I released an update in December. No, I didn't. That was the... I, I released a smaller fix, I believe, in 2020, in May. And then I released a few versions with the Medieval Tutor War Engine Oil Project tool implemented in 2021 and 2020, but late 2020 and uh, I believe December 2020 or November. November maybe, and then this in 2021 I believe I released another version with an updated tool and then it took until March 16th until this version was released and then I released the Factions United sub mod on March 17th and that's the latest release of this mod uh, so I didn't want to change the main mod too much I was allowed to continue it by Absinthe, one of the main modders uh, in 2016 but uh, I wanted to do a version where everyone started with all their territory, but I didn't want it to be the main release, so that's why I did a sub mod and kept the main release like this. Okay, so we have the Franks, we won't place them either. Cursey, not interesting. No, also too far away from others. Try the Geats, maybe. Orders. And move them to settlement area. And here we have their king. Yes. Yes. Move him. It's a striking position. You can also hire some troops. The, le the reason we do not have Vikings in the UI or user interface is because we are using the hot seat. And the first faction we start with is the UI we will use, which is the Baltic faction of Prussia. But if we play single player, it will be a Norse UI for the Norse, of course. Yes. Order. Can't reach that area. I see. Maybe from this area we can reach yes. them. Orders. March. I've only had two areas that sucked. Two My slots, Lord. I mean. Yes. Smooth is the position then. We do want the Viking unit in the March. army. The Viking are unit. Viking are uh, on Swed in Swedish. Viking are it means Viking in Swedish. Yes. Vikings in Swedish. Okay. <coughs> so we can start the battle. This is a rebel held Norse area, Varnheim, a Geet area. We have vanilla music here. Balance of power, armor strength ratio 5 1 in our favor. Captain Murder, Murder has 676 men. And Konunger, or King Herauder, the Builder, has 1963 men. Right, the enemy has a unit of Fatuekis folk or poor people. They have a unit of Bonder or Bunder in Swedish, also farmers in English, uh, Viga men, uh, Alehole brawlers, Rekkar, the basic uh, medium, the medium javelin throwers with axes in melee, they are better against melee troops in melee 
than the leadsmen, but they are worse against cavalry. We have the Viking R or Viking R, Swedish. Also Vikings in uh, English. It's the medium troops, best medium troops probably. The Viking are uh, pretty good. Good defense, pretty good attack, and do shield wall. Okay, we'll start the game. Just to take a look at the settlements. We didn't do that in the other video. I will upload. I mean, I will update the Red of the Norse the Baltic page where I have both the mod and the Factions United sub mod and the whole uh, app in. They are all on the Red of the Norse on the on modlobe.com. And uh, I will upload, I mean, I will update the article that I released on. March 18th, 2022, with the two videos, the one I uploaded yesterday of the Factions United sub mod, and this one, of the main mod, the version 3.5 mod of Wrath of the Norseman the Baltic, or VTM the Baltic. Uh, so this is a Norse village, the basic village shred with the Balts and the Slavs, and uh, <coughs> it's not the same as the the ones in the north areas in the mountains, they are different. They use the same buildings but different terrain. I believe those areas have mountains where their buildings are located, which fits their areas better. This is the more common village used by the Norse. Start the battle. They have the enemy, they have some rebel troops. This is a Norse Slavic and Balt village. They were um, barbarian villages in the mod Ebola Mundi, set in the antiquity, and uh, with the skins are used by the Slavs in the east of Rome, which is a later mod set in the 500s, in, in the time period where East Rome has fallen, but Eastern Rome is still pretty strong and is trying to restore Rome. This Viking Age is taking place in the I believe this mod starts in 785, so it's a few hundred years later than East of Rome. Yeah, <coughs> it's almost 1000 years later than the Debelomunde mod. Okay, but it's still early medieval Europe. Okay, so this is a Viking settlement. We don't want to play it, I just wanted to preview a settlement. We didn't do it in the other video. The main mod is completely standalone. The Factions United sub mod is based on this mod and on Regnum Francorum by Appen. But it's completely standalone, you do not need this mod for it. It already has this mod implemented and the Regnum Francorum sub mod is standalone. This one is standalone too. Okay. Let's exit back to the main menu. <coughs> And uh, the battles are exactly the same as in the other mod. And this is the same mod pretty much in custom battle. Okay, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, you have two choices. You can either play Wrath of the Norseman the Baltic version 3.5 main mod. Or Wrath of the Norseman the Baltic Factions United which is my sub mod for it. Where everyone has all their territory at the start. And where Lagarta was added to Sweet Jude. Okay, and it had some different uh, victor conditions and diplomacy as well. The same new AI, the same fixes, the same new strat models. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.